Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Last time we talked about good habits. This time we're going to talk about bad habits that clutter up our habitus and stop it from being holy. Last time I asked the question, what one thing, if you did it regularly and consistently, would significantly help you to surge forward in your spiritual growth? This week I'm asking the same question, but from a negative point of view, which one thing, if you stopped doing it regularly and consistently, would help you surge forward in your spiritual growth? Maybe an answer instantly comes to your mind and you've been fighting a bad habit for a long time. Maybe you need a bit more thinking, you need to brainstorm on a piece of paper. But we all have them, bad habits. We all have them. It might be you get home from work every day and you're tired and you take it out on your family. You snap at them, you're angry, irritable. And you've just noticed that keeps happening. It might be that you keep on fantasizing about stabbing your boss or undressing a member of the opposite sex. And it's just become a pattern, you think, I need to stop that. Maybe it's not necessarily a bad thing, but a neutral thing that you just spend too much time doing. You go on Facebook for hours, or YouTube, or you play video games until the small hours, and it saps your time and your energy away from more worthy pursuits, perhaps, and you think, that's a bad habit. I want to reclaim the territory for uh, holy uh, habits. That's a good metaphor, territory. When Christianity first spread across Europe and into the British Isles, one of the things that they did was they would, uh, wherever they found a pagan worship site, they'd build a church on it, directly on it. Um, or wherever they came across a pagan festival, they'd set up a Christian festival at the same time. They literally replaced the bad habit with the good habit, the bad thing with the good thing. They took that space and gave it to God. And maybe that's one way of us being able to challenge our bad habits by making them feel uncomfortable as we engage in a good habit at the exact same time that we would normally start our bad habit rolling. So if you get home and you know you're going to snap at your, your family, you might just turn the, the car off, sit there in the car and, and pray for five minutes that you'll have peace. Or if you it's always at night, just as you turn off the light and you're lying in bed and you fantasize about killing your boss or undressing a member of the opposite sex, you think, I'm going to reclaim that time and start reading a passage of scripture before I go to sleep or praying. Or if it's, uh, you know, I go on Facebook for too much or YouTube or on my games console, just stopping before you even start and maybe listening to a piece of Christian music and marinating in God's presence. There are all sorts of ways you can do it, but why not try to identify a bad habit and put a good habit there? That's the challenge for this week.